welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been forever since I put out content, aka two weeks, but I was on a cruise, I was in Mexico, I probably am going to put up a vlog on that, I'm not sure it's going to be really short because I was living my life and I wasn't videotaping a whole lot, which is the way to do it, but doesn't really result in a lot of really good content. So we'll see about that. But I am here for a super fun video and to explain a little more about my giveaway, which is ending tomorrow. So tomorrow is obviously Valentine's Day. If you don't know that, it's probably good that you're watching this video because you're going to need some help if you have a significant other that you're trying to impress slash a Valentine. So tomorrow's Valentine's Day. If you're not like me, aka I've had my Valentine's Day planned for like six months now, then you might be scrambling as were many people today in Walmart. And I have some ideas for you because I understand what that's like because sometimes that is me, most times it's not, especially for my favorite holiday, which is Valentine's Day, second only to Christmas. But if you're scrambling and you have a Valentine slash a significant other, whatever, if you have someone that you need to impress for Valentine's Day and you're sitting here thinking, I have nothing, you're gonna be fine, I promise, you will, because I have some tips for you and they're super simple and they're super easy and you don't have to worry about ordering flowers last minute and paying $700 for delivery on Valentine's Day the day before. You don't have to worry about going to pick out this and this and this from 40 miles away, you're gonna be fine. And these tips will get you through tomorrow. Okay. So, so here are gonna be some tips on what you can do if you kinda let Valentine's Day slide till it was too late. And these are so easy and anyone can do them and they do not take a lot of thought, not that you're not giving your Valentine a lot of thought but they don't and they don't take a lot of planning, so you're gonna be okay. So, these should be kind of self-explanatory, I think, but here are some ideas in case you didn't come up with anything really great. So the first thing you can do for your Valentine, and this is something super special, but it's not hard, is cook for them or bake for them. I know that maybe to some people that sounds intimidating, but literally get a box cake mix and make them a cake and you're fine. So I just think that baking for someone or cooking for someone is like really special because you are obviously taking the time and doing that and cooking slash baking, I mean, it doesn't take five minutes. So it shows them that you love them and you care for them and you want them to have this like great meal with you that you worked on and that's something you can do whenever, but I think it's really special on Valentine's Day to kind of set it up and you can set your table all nice and I did that one Valentine's Day and I just think it's adorable. So that's the first thing you can do. That doesn't take almost any effort. Run to the grocery store, get a few things. You don't have to worry about being late on that one because it doesn't take a whole lot of planning. The second thing that you can do is decorate your slash their room. If you live together, it'll be y'all's room. If not, it's their room if you can somehow get to it. But that's a really cool thing to do. And I know that may be more geared towards guys doing this for girls, but I think that it's okay to spoil your guy too. So obviously I'm engaged and I think that spoiling a guy is just as important as a guy spoiling a girl. I'm sorry, like I love being spoiled, but I wanna give it back to him too. So I just kind of decorated my room, which he'll be coming over to later. He's coming over for like dinner. So he'll see it at my house cause I can't decorate his house cause he's there. Um, so I'll kind of show you what I did there and it's so easy and it's stuff you can pick up at like Target, Walmart, Walgreens, like anywhere that you can go now the day before Valentine's Day and do this. I did not, but you can, I know because I was just there getting stuff for luncheon tomorrow and they have this stuff. So go and do this and it's so easy and it looks like you put so much time and thought into it and it just looks really, really nice and shows that you really care about them and they won't know that you did it five minutes so before. I'm just gonna show you what I did, and this is so easy, guys. Like, one, it's not that expensive. Two, it's literally so easy and takes no effort. So I just got him a little balloon. This is Happy Valentine's Day, and then I have some candles lit just to kind of like make it romantic in here. And then this my mom gave us, and it's just like a cute little decor piece. But So I just put some rose petals on the bed. I know it's kind of like a girl thing to do or like, but I just think it's really cute and um, romantic. And it just kind of, I don't know, makes him feel special that I went out of my way to do something. And then this is his card, which I'm not gonna show you guys, but so I just have his little card there. And then in this box, which I made, like a while ago because I'm very prepared. It's just this cute little box thing from Target and it has these little like winky face hearts on it and then little hearts on the inside. And I just did this for him. So that's bad. <laughs> um, you can do this based on whoever you're giving it to. Obviously yours probably won't be exactly the same as mine. But I just filled it full of stuff that he really likes. So I got Starburst and Skittles and Sweet Tart Hearts and all the different kinds of like gummy candy and then Moscow Mule candy. So just like little cute stuff that he likes. Um, I know that's kind of simple, but honestly it means a lot because you thought about what he would like and what he would want. So if you really go out of your way to think about what your Valentine slash significant other would want, it really matters a lot. 
and it doesn't have to be that hard. So this is really cute, but it looks like I put like 10 tons of effort into it and you really don't have to. I mean, you could make it a lot cuter, which I probably will slowly add more to it, but it's really easy and it's really last minute and it looks really nice. Oh, another thing you can do that is so easy and maybe this is like too basic for Valentine's Day and not special enough for you, but I know it's something Travis and I really enjoy, plan a movie night in. I don't think that that can't be a Valentine's Day thing. I mean, pop some popcorn, order in Chinese food, and literally just spend the night watching movies together. Like, that is so fun for us, and that's one of the things we do all the time because we really enjoy just being in each other's presence. And that's something you can do on Valentine's Day, too. It doesn't have to be go out to a $1,000 dinner and go here and here and here. You can literally sit at home and just hang out with each other and enjoy time together because, honestly, that's what's most important on Valentine's Day is showing the person that you love that you love them, and that's a really easy way to do it by just spending time together and being close. So that's a, such an easy way to show someone so you care. So the last thing you can do that's super cool and meaningful, and this one is the gift that keeps on giving, but is just as easy as all the other ones, is a coupon book. So I literally found this online, and it's just a couplet template, and it says this coupon entitles blank to blank from blank. So like this one says, this coupon entitles Travis Ross to one homemade, one cooked meal of your choice, home cooked meal from future Mrs. Ross. So you can literally fill it out with whatever you want, whatever is specific to your Valentine. So some of these probably wouldn't work for yours, AKA this entitles Travis to me having to watch three hours of his shows because honestly we don't have the same taste in TV and that would be torture for me, but he would love it. So this can be things that you think he would love or your Valentine would love and things that maybe you don't get to do often or maybe isn't your favorite thing, but you're gonna like suck it up and do it for them. So this is a really cool thought and it's something that they can use like throughout the year. They don't just have to appreciate it on Valentine's Day. They can use them, you know, I mean all on Valentine's Day if they want or just, you know, gradually and just kind of use them as they go. And I think that's really special because you obviously put the thought, like the thought into what they would want and maybe not necessarily doing things that you love, but you would love to see them doing because they would really enjoy it. So there's like a ton of different things. I mean, you can find so many different ideas. So like mine, this is another one, one like I'll make him a baked good of his choice because obviously I love baking and so I'll let him choose. Um, there's like so many different things in here. Like one night out, I'll buy all the drinks because obviously usually he buys drinks or I'll buy my own drinks, but one night we'll go out and I'll buy him drinks. So just kind of put whatever you want in there. I mean, make it specific to your Valentine and make it special to them, but this is so easy. I mean, print it out on a piece of paper and give it to them and it looks like cute and nice. So that's my last tip and my last last minute idea for Valentine's Day. So these are not hard things and they're things that your significant other or Valentine or whoever you're doing this for will really appreciate. I mean, you can like, kind of make this into something for anyone, just kind of tweak it a little bit. But these are things you don't have to plan three months ahead of time. You don't have to have a reservation. You don't have to spend a ton of money and you can do this and it just communicates the same thing as all of that other stuff that you love them and you care for them and you want to put some thought into what's going on on Valentine's Day. So I hope that helped you guys. I used some of these tips myself, obviously. I kind of thought of them a little ahead of time, but if you didn't, I'm here to save your Valentine's Day. So. Getting on to the giveaway. So, the giveaway is going to be a little bit different this time. If you hear anything in the background, it's Bennett running a total muck. Um, so, last time I announced my giveaway winner on YouTube. I like made a video for it and put it on YouTube. This time I'm not going to do that because I just don't think I want to make a whole video just to announce the winner because it was ultimately like two minutes. So, I'm going to announce it on my Insta stories. So, I'm just going to upload the process of me putting all the names into the random name generator and then I'm going to show the winner and I'm also going to put all those onto Twitter. So if you entered my giveaway, you obviously have to have an Instagram or a Twitter because you had to repost it on there and you had to comment done or else you weren't entered. For people that only did one of those things or didn't have social media, I'm really sorry, you're not eligible, but I'll be doing something later for people just on YouTube. So don't worry about it. Like you won't miss out forever. So look out for that. I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to do that, but I'll announce it spend it <laughs> ahead of time. Um, probably on Instagram, but I have dinner date with my fiance at 5.30, so I'm guessing it'll be somewhere around like 8, so look out for that. Um, if you have notifications on, it'll just show up in your little box anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys are ready for the giveaway tomorrow. I'm excited. This is always really fun, so I will see you guys tomorrow with the big news.